Is this the future? Making electricity from air. These lighting towers are powered by hydrogen fuel cells and are already in use on these roadworks in Harlow. They are uh, an industry norm in relation to their size and their capacity and the brightness that, 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 that they deliver is, is comparable to, to what we get from diesel powered generators and diesel powered lighting sets. So this type of product is, is absolutely key that, that we're not experiencing a fundamental change, rather we're just replacing almost a like for like in terms of functionality with a much improved emissions and, and reduced carbon footprint. So, how do they work? They use hydrogen molecules from these cylinders and oxygen from the surrounding air. When they combine on a membrane, a chemical reaction occurs producing water and electricity. There isn't even a spark. For now, most of TCP's products are used in industries, but is there potential for these fuel cells beyond construction sites? As this scales up, it will need large investment. There, there are moves um, happening within the industry right now where large-scale electrolyzers um, will come on stream in the next two, three years um, and produce the hydrogen from a truly renewable source, from wind farms, from uh, PV. But that is considerable investment. But is the entire process free of emissions? The production of hydrogen does have a carbon footprint. Um, most of the hydrogen that's produced in the UK today is produced from methane. Uh, and obviously there is some logistics costs um, and logistic carbon footprint to get the hydrogen to point of use. But once it is there, um, we have that chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen and the only emission is water. At the moment, hydrogen fuel cells are more expensive than diesel or petrol generators, but demand is increasing as more companies want to be greener. The H Comba, Beeps Lick East, Hartford